fireworks in a jar experiment. It's really simple and really easy, and I really hope that you guys enjoy it. Let's get started. So the materials we will be using are food coloring, a jar, oil, water, and a separate container or whatever you have at home to mix your oil and your food coloring well. So I also used glitter, but that's very optional because it doesn't really do much in this experiment. Um, but I just thought it might have looked a little prettier with some glitter at the very top. So I went ahead, put my oil in my plate, then put the food coloring into it and the food coloring is not going to dissolve into it it is going to become into these little beads and i did have it in the plate and then i put it in the jar just to make sure that the beads became really small because as you can see here there's really big balls of the food coloring and if you leave them like that as you can see in this first trial the beads will come down into the water and will make it a dark color before the fireworks can even start and you won't even be able to see them so it doesn't look as nice so during my second trial i made sure that the food coloring dissolved into smaller smaller little bead looking things and then it actually was able to work successfully so here is mine Make sure that your jar is at least three-fourths full of water because this will help in having more space for your fireworks to explode in. You drop the oil in, the oil comes back up because they have different densities, so the oil is going to float on the water, but the food coloring is a similar density to the water, so it's going to come down slowly, and then as it comes and meets the water, obviously it dissolves in water, so it makes these streak-looking things that look like fireworks, and it looks like fireworks in a jar, it looks like they're exploding, and it looks really cool, and I used all four colors of the food coloring, so all four colors are mixing in the jar, and it looks really pretty, and yeah, this is our fireworks in a jar. Eventually, the colors do come together and mix a bit, so my jar does look a little bit darker, but you can still see the colors and it still looks really cool. And you can do this as many times as you'd like because it's really simple and really, really easy. So members, that was our fireworks in a jar experiment. As I said, it was really fast, really easy, and I really hope that you guys try it out for yourselves and do it as many times as you guys would like. And I hope that you guys join us for the next experiment. Bye members.